Jesus. What does that name mean to you? Let's look at what the Bible tells us about Jesus and how he intercedes for us in the intercessor. The word intercede means to intercede on behalf of another. The Greek word for intercession is intunghano. It is found five times in the King James Version. Let's look at three of those verses. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died, more than that, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. The Bible says, There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the Spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to emphasize with our weakness, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. A second occurrence says, Therefore, he is able also to save forever those who draw near to God through him, since he always lives to make intercession for them. My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. Jesus was tempted, so he can help us when we are tempted. We may have people in our lives that help us, encourage us, but no one is like Jesus who advocates and intercedes for us. The Greek word for advocates is parakletos, which is a meaning of one that pleads for another's cause with another, an intercessor. It is also used in the Holy Spirit being a comforter or helper. A third verse says, In the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness, we do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit Himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. Jesus asked for and said God will give people an advocate. The Holy Spirit will teach us, bring remembrance of what Jesus said, and testify about Him. Before ascending to heaven, Jesus said there would be a baptism with the Holy Spirit. This would come days later at Pentecost as they were filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke in other tongues. Some think of God as throwing lightning bolts wanting us to fail. If that were true, none of us would be alive. There will be judgment. For those who follow Christ, there is no condemnation. God loves us so much he sent his son Jesus to die for us. I don't know about you, but it is comforting to know that Jesus himself is interceding for us. I need Jesus' help. I need the Holy Spirit's help. And I would rather have Jesus interceding for me than the best lawyers in the world. God knows our needs before we ask him, and he will supply them. If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him over for us all, how will he not also with him freely give us all things? Jesus is interceding for us in tribulation, distress, persecution, famine, nakedness, peril, and sword cannot separate us from Jesus' love. If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please click on the Salvation Prayer video to shortly follow. God bless you.